Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Legends of Galar tin. This tin features the Sheen V. This tin I did purchase from Collector's Cash as a set for $39.98. These tins are normally $24.99 in retail stores. The other tin in this set of tins features Zamazenta V. So I'll get this tin opened up, show everything on the inside, and then get to opening the packs. Zashian V is one of the best cards for the Sword and Shield base set, so that's why I wanted to open up this Zashian V tin first. My knife handy, so bear with me while I'll, I open up the tin. Take the plastic wrap off, and then I'll show you the tin in detail a little bit better. Take that reflection off of the top of the tin. So there is a look at the top. And on the back, you can find everything that you'll get on the inside. So five booster packs, one of two foil V cards, and then an online TCG code card. So I'll open it up here. So the five packs. And then the Zashian V as well as the online TCG code card. So get to showing the Zashian V and then the online TCG code card. First up would be the Zashian V SWSH018 would be the card number. This card has a very good ability as well as a great attack and there are lots of ways to increasing the attack power as well as the HP of a metal type Pokemon. So Intrepid Sword lets you accelerate energy to Zashian V. So not a bad V card at all. And then here's the online TCG code card. I'll give this away to one of my viewers. And I do hope to do some online TCG videos in the near future, whether that be a pack opening or a battle. The five booster packs on the inside, a couple of older packs, so one each of Evolutions and Burning Shadows, one Sword and Shield, and then two Rebel Clash. Of course, Rebel Clash is the newest set in the TCG. May 1st, I believe, was the official release date for that set. I'll start off with Evolutions. Now, Evolutions and Burning Shadows, there is a chance at pulling a Charizard card out. Charizard, of course, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Evolutions is a base set reprint set. So take a look at the code card here. I do wish that Venusaur and Blastoise would have been included as rare holo cards in Evolutions. You can get them as EX cards, however. So Magikarp starts the first pack. Hopefully I did the card trick correctly. It's three and two here, and I might not have, so we'll see. Electabuzz, Rattata, Growlithe, and Ninetales would be the Rare Hollow. So used to opening up the Sword and Shield and then the Sun and Moon series of sets. So did the card trick incorrectly. Sorry about that, but a good start to the tin opening. A Ninetales Rare Hollow. There is a Haunter, Blastoise Spirit Link, Misty's Determination. Nido ran. I believe the last card should be the reverse hollow. It would be a switch. This would be an uncommon, a very good trainer card. So hopefully the good pulls continue. A good start with that nine tails rare hollow. Moving on to burning shadows now. So from the sun and moon series of sets, so four and then two for the card trick, not like three and two in the XY series of sets. Set across the code card here. Four and then two here for the card trick. Lots of competitive cards in this set. It was disappointing when this set rotated out of the standard format. Rhyhorn starts this pack. Merrill, Caterpie, Morlull, Duskull, Fire Type Energy. Acerola, this is a very good supporter card. It allows you to put one of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all cards attached to it into your hand. So sometimes you may play a rainbow energy with this card. 
Saviper, a good way to add damage counters. Gloom, Reverse Solo of a Lunatone, an Uncommon. And the final card would be a Tangrowth. So I'm hoping for the best pulls now in the Sword and Shield series of sets. Of course, Sword and Shield base set, the first set for that series. V cards are brand new to the Sword and Shield series of sets. I set the code card aside here just because I do not have many packs on the online TCG yet. Chincho starts the one and only pack of Sword and Shield. There's a Krabby, Minchino, Galarian Ponyta, Cottony, Metal Type Energy. I do like the looks of these basic energy cards. Great Ball. It used to be one of the better ways to get Pokemon into your hand. Galarian Lanoon, Rotom Bike, Reverse Solo of a Roselia. I believe this is a common. And the final card would be a Noctowl. On to the newest set out right now, Rebel Clash. Inteleon VMAX on this one. This set is based around those three stage two stars from the eighth generation in VMAX form. There are some very good trainer cards in this set as well. So the first of the two Rebel Clash packs starts with Helioptile, Voltorb, Sandy Gas, Vulpix, Coughing, Metal Type Energy, Horror Psychic Energy. This is a very good special energy card. It can be used in spread attack type decks. So it says, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides one Psychic Energy. If the Psychic Energy, the Psychic Pokemon rather, this card is attached to, is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent's attack, put two damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So that is a very good card to use, especially if you're building a Psychic type deck. Palpitoad, Morgrem, Reverse Solo of Pokeball and Uncommon, and the final card would be a Garbodor. And this card's ability, once during your turn, if a stadium is in play, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon poisoned. There are a few ways in Rebel Clash that you can take advantage of poison Pokemon. So not a bad rare non holo there. Hoping to end this tin with a bang. Final pack of the five. Otherwise, just that first pack had something good on the inside. So I'm going to set this card aside. Four and two. Last pack magic I'm definitely hoping for here. It would make the tin. Looks like we have a Squavit. Galarian Mr. Mine. Caterpie. Barboach, Aracuda, Psychic Type Energy, Twin Energy, a very good special energy card. Three different special energy cards are decent from this set. This is similar to Double Colorless, except for that you cannot use it on V or GX Pokemon. Heliolisk, The Blade, Reverse Hollow of a Durant. This would be an uncommon. And the final card does look to be a great way to end this tin a rare hollow but it is possibly the best card in the entire set it would be a boss's orders rare hollow and this is a staple in most decks in the metagame right now essentially gusting the defending pokemon switch one of your opponent's bench pokemon with their active pokemon so not a bad way to end this tin i can summarize my pulls now so out of the five packs in the tin, I was able to pull out two rare holo cards. One rare holo of nine tails from the evolution set. And then easily the best pull of the tin would be the boss's orders, the rare holo. And then here's a look at the black star promo again. And that is one reason I like to open these tins is that even if you're shut out in the packs, you're still guaranteed that card in the preview window. In this case, the Sheehan V is very good. So that will conclude this tin opening. Thank you very much for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on all notifications. If you'd like to support my channel even more, you can become a patron of mine on Patreon, or you can always donate via the 
live chat in my premieres and live streams. So that will conclude this video. Thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.